Hello, I am Krishnamurti Pammi. In this video, we are going to learn resource optimization technique. Resource optimization can be done by using resource leveling or by using resource smoothing. We will learn about these two techniques in detail in this video. The prerequisite for this step is the activities in a project are defined and they are connected in a network diagram through a relationship mostly finished to start. Let us understand what is resource leveling using a simple example. Our example consists of three activities. Activity A, Activity B and Activity C. Activity A is loaded with two resources that is Ramu and Somu. Ramu is planned for 8 hours. Somu is planned for 8 hours on Activity A. Our critical resource Ramu is planned for 8 hours for activity B. On activity C, Bharat is loaded for 8 hours. So this is the simple network diagram we have. If you understand day by day workload, on the day 1, Ramu is loaded with 16 hours. He is planned to work 8 hours on activity A and 8 hours on activity B. So he is assigned with 16 hours. Whereas Somu is planned for 8 hours and on day 2 Bharat is planned to work for 8 hours. Our resource allocation chart shows Ramu is assigned with 16 hours on day 1. So on activity A and activity B together on day 1 he is assigned with 16 hours and Somu is assigned with 8 hours and day 2 Bharat is assigned with 8 hours. This is how the resource allocation chart is looking upon with days on x-axis and number of hours planned on y-axis. We have a resource constraint that is no resource should be planned more than 8 hours on any given day. On our resource graph if you see Ramu is over allocated because he is allocated for more than 8 hours that is 16 hours on day 1 whereas Somu is allocated for 8 hours on day 1 and Bharat is allocated for 8 hours on day 2. So to honor this constraint, what is the way out? The solution is Ramu first works on activity A for the first day. After finishing the activity A, he then moves on to activity B. So to level the resources, what are we doing? We are making both activity A and activity B in a sequential form. Earlier, the activities were in parallel form. In earlier mode, in the network diagram, it was shown that both activity A and activity B can be done in parallel, whereas now the activity A and activity B are brought in sequential just to make sure that Ramu works only for 8 hours on any given day. Now, what is happening? In order to realize or in order to honor this constraint, we are extending the project duration. Earlier, the project was supposed to get completed in two days. Now, the project is getting completed in three days. So, after resource leveling, the resource allocation is looking like this. Ramu, Somu and Bharat are assigned within eight hours per day. So, that's how we see resources are leveled. What will happen if we have more resource constraints applied on our example. We already know that constraint 1 states that no resource should work more than 8 hours. Constraint 2, constraint 3 are loaded now. The constraint 2 says Ramu, the critical resource, is not available on day 1. Constraint 3 says Somu is available only for 4 hours on day 1. Now, with this, our resource graph shows like this. The first constraint, the dotted line here, says that no resource should work more than 8 hours. The second constraint, which is a blue bar for Ramu, we don't have any blue bar here because um, the second constraint says Ramu is not available on the day 1. So, we cannot assign any work to him. And Somu is available only for 4 hours. That's why the orange bar shows 4 hours and third constraint says only 4 hours. This is how our resource allocation chart looking like. 
Now, to honor these three constraints, our critical path is now further changed. Now, earlier the project was supposed to get completed in three days. Now, it is getting extended by one more day. Why? Because Ramu is not working on activity A on day one. So, he starts working on activity A for eight hours and from day two onwards. So, he is assigned eight hours here on day two on activity A and activity B eight hours and then Bharati is loaded with eight hours on activity on day four on activity C. Similarly, Somu is loaded with four hours on activity A and remaining four hours on the same activity A on the day two. So, what is happening? We are honoring the constraints of critically shared resources. Here in this example, A is not available on day one and SOMU is available only for four hours. So, in order to level the resources within their available time, what is happening is it is changing the original critical path. So, in summary, what did we learn? Resource leveling is a technique in which start and finish states are adjusted based on resource constraints with the goal of balancing the demand for resources with the available supply. Resource leveling can often cause the original critical path to change and this technique resource leveling can be used when shared or critically required resources are available only at certain times or in limited quantities. Let us now understand what is resource smoothing technique is. We have another example here. We have a network diagram. We have two network paths A, B, C, I and R. The duration is coming to 35 days. Another path is A, B, E, I and R. The duration is coming to 25 days. So obviously the critical path is A, B, C, I and R because network path is 35 days which is longest here. So, the critical path is the longest path in network diagram. So, the critical path is A, B, C, I and R. Now, our non-critical path is A, D, E, I and R. Now, the float available for activities B and E are 10 days. That means, even if you delay activity D or activity E by 10 days, the overall project duration is not going to get impacted. That's why the float available for activity D and activity E are 10 days. Now, it is planned that Krishna works on activity D for 4 days and Shekhar works for activity E for 6 days. So, Krishna is assigned for day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4 and Shekhar is assigned for day 5, day 6, day 7, day 8, day 9 and day 10 for activity now, after planning, we came to know that Krishna is not available on day 4. That is, this part of the work cannot be done. And Shekhar is only available for 4 hours on day 11 and day 12. Let us see what happens in this technique called resource moving. So, in the non-critical part, okay, where float is available for activity D and activity E, we will try to level the resources within the float available on non-critical path. So, now Krishna is not available on day 4, so we are not allocating any work for him. Instead, we are extending the duration to 5th day. So, Krishna is assigned for 8 hours here. So, day 1, day 2, day 3 and day 5, Krishna is allocated. Shekhar is allocated 4 hours on day 1 and 4 hours on day 12. So, what is happening? After resource moving on non-critical path, by honoring the constraints for Krishna and Shekhar, the duration is A, D, E, I, R is coming to 27 days. So, what we have done for activities D and activity E, which are on non-critical path and which have flow of 10 days, we try to level the resources on activity B and activity E. Please understand, we are not at all touching the resources on A, B, C, I and R, which are all on critical path. In resource smoothing, we focus only on activities 
where float is available, that is on non-critical path. So, if at all resources are overloaded on any of the activities called A, B, C, I and R in resource smoothing, we do not touch. Only on activities where float is available, we try to adjust, we try to level the resources under the concept called resource smoothing. So, what is resource smoothing? In resource smoothing, as opposed to resource leveling, the project critical path is not changed and the completion date may not be delayed. In resource leveling, we change the critical path so the project duration can get changed. But in resource smoothing, it is not. The overall project duration remains same, the critical path remains same, only on non-critical path activities are delayed within their free or portal float. So that's why resource smoothing may not be able to optimize all resources because it won't touch the critical path, it only touches the non-critical path. So using these techniques called resource leveling and resource smoothing, we perform resource optimization on network diagrams.